Hello, I'm Genevieve, and I'm going to read you a story today. Today we will be reading Alexander in the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. It is by Judith Vjorst, and it's illustrated by Ray Cruz. He's one of my all-time favorite children's illustrators, and this is one of my favorite books from when I was little. There is Alexander. In bed. Let's see, there's Alexander. He's oof. For Robert Lesher with Love and Thanks. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard and by mistake I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running and I could tell it was going to be a terrible horrible no good very bad day at breakfast Anthony found a Corvette stingray car kit in his seat breakfast cereal box, and Nick found a junior un undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. <laughs> no fun. Well, I think I'll move to Australia. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have the seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be car sick. No one even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At school, Mrs. Dickens liked Paul pictures of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. See, there's Paul, there's his invisible castle. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. And at counting time, she said I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moyo was his best friend, his next best friend, and that I was only his third best friend. I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream cone part falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. Strong words there. He is not having a good day. <laughs> Poor guy. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag, and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. That's what it was, because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist, and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australia. On the way downstairs, the elevator closed on my foot, and while we were waiting for my mom to go get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy, and then I started crying because of the mud. Nick said I was a crybaby. <laughs> and 
Anne. Well, I was pushing Nick for saying crybaby. My mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. I am having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I said to everybody, nobody answered. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red, with red stripes. But then the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. Tough talk. When we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with his copying machine, but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk, and I was as careful, except as careful as I could be, except for my elbow. He also said don't fool around with his phone, but I think I called Australia. My dad said please don't pick him up anymore. <laughs> it was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. There were lima beans for dinner. I hate lima beans. There was kissing on TV. I hate kissing. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain and I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. Oh, I hate my railroad train pajamas. When I went to bed, Nick put, took back the pillow he said I could keep, and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom said, some days are like that. even in Australia. And this is the back. Well, thank you for listening to my story today. As always, be good for your grown-ups and be good to your grown-ups and yourself. Take care. Thanks for listening.